Everyone that saw this cave was like, what? What is that? Hola YouTube, my name is Ricardo Lino and I'm a wheel addict. Today I'm gonna show you a skate that I just got from Powerslide about 2-3 days ago. I got to skate it yesterday on my way to work, I even made this video. And the skates are these. So basically these skates are the Powerslide V Trinity, because it has the Trinity frame, Jasper 110, Jasper Red 110. What's different about these skates? The first thing, the most visible one, it's the lacing system. So basically these skates come with this lacing system which is more common on, I think it's more like on snowboard boots, they call it a top closure. It's a disc, when I spin it to the right it gets tighter and tighter and then if I spin it to the left it just gets loose. It's different and it feels good. You feel like something coming from the top and the whole top of the skate, all the way to the middle of your foot, you feel like some pressure, but it's not too tight. It's, this is a fitness skate. This is something that it's important for you to know. This skate has more flex than a swell. It has more flex than the Kaze, but the Kaze is not really a fitness skate. I would say it's something in between the dupes the dupe skate, which is like way more flexible and a swell. I also feel when I skate with these that it has a lot more mm, back flex, which means like I can feel the V cut a lot more. It feels comfortable when you skate it. Something that I didn't understand is, I don't know why, but on this skate, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I think on this skate you can change cuffs. I don't know if I'm saying anything wrong, but I, th I think that you can change cuffs. That's something that you should know about this boot and it has like a, the normal buckle on top the one that just goes on one side and then on this side you close it that's just a normal inline skate buckle the liner on these skates, the liner is cool it's a MyFit Recall liner and the MyFit Recall liner I would say it's something like almost like the fat boy but with laces so, I like it. I do like it. And it's also dual fit. The front part of this liner, it's expandable. So, these skates, they go and I think you get them like in two sizes. Every time you buy one of, one of these skates, like mine is a 43, but it's a, it's a 43, 44. It's a US 9 and 10. It feels good. The liner is also heat moldable, which means that you can put it in the oven for 5 minutes, 100 degrees for 5 minutes, and the foams on this liner get a little bit softer, and then you tight the skate as much as you can, and then the foams will mold to your foot. That will give you like a custom fit. Ah, uh, let me see if I can put it back on. Let's see how. If you try this, don't be as stupid as I am. Okay. <clears throat> Different type of lacing with the wires is this. I like the look of it with this line. I really like the look of it. It has this little... I don't know what to call this. When you need to loosen it up, you just pull it here and turn it to the left. And you got it. But that's it. But then, like I told you before, it's a Trinity skate. This frame has three points of contact to the boot. What are the differences between a Trinity skate and the regular skate? A regular skate has only two points, one in front, one in the back. So the skate is usually not as responsive. Every little movement that you do, like this, doesn't go straight to the frame. Basically when you push or when you try to turn, every little movement that you do with your foot here, it's way more responsive. Also, because you have two points in front, it means that the frame can go a little bit lower. If the frame is lower, it's also a little bit more responsive. So this is a 110, but it feels more like a 90, 100 maybe, like a 90, I would say like a 90. So you're lower to the ground, but you still have the big wheels to roll through rough surfaces. The frame is a casted aluminium frame, and it's the same frame that comes in some of the new swell skates. It's a new frame, and this frame allows you to put this new Stopper. I told you before in the dupe video that I made that I like this stopper. Why? Well, it helps you. If you're going like through cars and you don't have a lot of space to just... 
this will help you. With this one you can stop in like thinner places, you can still stop without needing to turn or anything like that. And I don't really like the T-stop, because usually T-stop will burn your wheels in a in a weird way. So this is a cool stopper because it's just it's adjustable. Basically you just screw it here and then you can pull it up or down. The more you use it, the more you're gonna need to pull it down, but it's gonna last you longer than the, the regular stopper that you use in the, the holder skates. So I'm not planning on taking the stopper out in any of my cruising or fitness skates anytime soon because you get used to it and it's actually quite handy. Bearings. It comes with wicked ABEC 9 bearings. They're fast. I didn't felt anything slow about these skates. Even if the wheels are not undercover, and I told you before, I usually like undercover wheels a lot better than the stock power slide wheels. But these are infinity wheels. So the infinity wheels are top wheels from power slide. The infinity line even has like a racing wheel. So I think that says it all. It's a fast wheel. The profile of these wheels pointy but not too pointy. It's a little bit round in the in the top and that will give you I would say give you good speed but at the same time when you turn you still feel like you have good grip. These wheels are 88A which they're not too soft but they're not the hardest ones. They could go up to 88 or 90 but no these are 86. Will give you a smooth ride but fast because of also the size and with these bearings like I told you before the ABEC 9 bearings it's gonna be fast. In the end, I really like this skate. It's a really good option if you're planning on like getting like a, a fitness skate that feels comfortable. To me, this skate feels really comfortable. I like the look of it. This this lacing system is quite unique. Everyone that saw this skate was like, "What? What is that?" But it really looks like a little bit like a snowboard boot when you look from the front, and it feels great. That's my opinion about it. Being a Trinity skate makes a huge difference like I told you when it comes to turning and being a little bit lower but other than that because you have three points of contact between the frame and the boot that will also distribute the vibrations that you have so if you're going through like rougher surfaces that you will go because you have bigger wheels and this will allow you to go through rougher surfaces these three points of contact will distribute the vibration in this thing, in this triangle, instead of distributing the whole vibration in one line. So this also makes this skate more comfortable. And I think that's it. That's what I got to say about uh, the Power Slide V Jasper Red 110. It's a long name, but I like this skate. I might also use this liner for other skates that I got because I really like the liner. I'm probably even going to test these skates with other liner and see how this system works with other liners, but that will be for another video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll be making more of these skate reviews, skate flows, just skating around the city. I'll be doing tutorials. And as you know, I'll skate a little bit of everything. So stay tuned for what's coming next. Hope you also like this new little studio that I just made. I hope it sounds great. I hope it looks good with the light here. And again, I hope you liked it. And if you do like it, don't forget to smash the like button. And if you're not subscribing, now is the time to do it. If you already did it, but if you didn't click that bell on the side of the subscribe button, do it because you're gonna get notifications every time I upload a video. Cheers. Vou viver até quando...